Hey everyone, and welcome back to Miss Azriel's Gaming. So we're going to jump back into Moonvale, and um, the last thing that we saw, um, you know, that was new is we had the new seeker chat between Eric and Ash. Um, they are both friends of Adam, who is missing, and who, for some reason, was looking to meet with us, and... Uh, Eric himself is going to get in touch with the rest of their group of friends and have us maybe join into a big group chat. So, um, I need to do the mini games. I'm going to do those very quickly and I will bring you guys back in when I'm done in case, um, you know, something happens as soon as I'm done. That's why I want to have this, you know, recording why I do the mini games so that if something pops up, I don't miss it and you guys get to see it. So I will be right back. All right, there we go. So now Eric's added us to the group chat. So I guess everybody agreed to it or he feels comfortable with doing it. Okay, so right. Uh, how many people are there going to be? Don't say anything. Okay, so four if you include Ash. Okay, thanks, Eric. Oh, clicked on the wrong one. Here we have a cat. And hello. Azrael, this is Violet. Hi, Violet. Nice to meet you. Don't say anything. You too. Excuse, um, excuse me. One more second, please. Brian's got pretty bad reception and the call cut out halfway through. I'll try calling him again. All right, don't take too long though. Don't say anything. Okay, so Eric is offline. Eric told me everything. How are you all feeling? Fine, given the circumstances, I've been better. We're all a bit nervous, but it's manageable. I mean, yeah, we're all a bit nervous. We're dealing. You're never going to guess what just happened to me. You know that creepy painting in the third floor? No, we don't. And we've got other things to worry about. Sure you know it. You remember when you see it. Well, I don't know it. What's this guy yapping about? Will I, though? Whoa. You're already in the group? Sorry, I... I though, Eric. I think it was... I thought Eric was going to add you later. Nope, I've been here from the beginning. You thought wrong then, didn't you? Don't say anything. Wow, we're, we could be really rude <laughs> in this one. Great. Now I look stupid. Well, I mean, you might already, I don't know. What is wrong with you? With me? Didn't Eric call you? Yeah, he did. But I thought the situation resolved itself. What makes you think that? I think you might be underestimating how serious this is. How could it be? Res how could it resolve itself? I mean, yeah, really. Like, what is this guy thinking? Azrael, may I introduce Charlie the Pinhead? Oh, okay. Hi, Pinion. <laughs> pinhead. I think I said Pinion, but I meant Pinhead. Hello, Charlie. Nice to meet you. Why can't I say hi, Pinhead? That would be funny. Um. We'll go with nice to meet you. Hello.
Come on. You're not worried, are you? Like, for real, for real? I mean... Guys, this is Adam, okay? What do you mean? Of course we're worried. The real question is why you're not worried. I mean... Yeah. Everybody else is worried but him. Okay, so Eric is now online. Right. I can't get through to Brian, so I guess we'll just start without him. Azrael? Did you save my call from earlier by any chance? You mean when we found the car? Of course. My phone does that automatically. Are we supposed to watch it? <laughs> We've already seen it, so... Oh. That is bad. Pretty disturbing, isn't it? Quite. Okay, what's our plan? We don't have one yet. What plan? Eric? Okay, we'll, we'll call on Eric. We'll let him make the plan. All we've done so far is look around Adam's car. But Azriel, you're not with Eric, are you? No, Eric is on his own. I'm afraid not. Why do you ask? I'm afraid not. Not there to protect him. So what's up with this radio thing? What's he blabbering about this time? You mean Vega? Yeah, I'd like to know that myself. I think he means Vega. Uh, who? He really is a pinhead. Adam had some kind of GPS receiver in his trunk. Wait, I'll show you. It was already switched on and set to a specific signal. How does it work? It sends out a specific signal. It's like water uh, witching. Water witching? To be honest, I don't understand myself. What the heck is water witch witching? Do they mean like... What is it? Um, what's it called? A... Uh, is it a diviner rod? Is that what like like what it's referring to? I don't know, but it sends out a specific signal. I do know that. The other way around, it receives. Oh yeah, it receives a signal. Okay. Well, I mean, it's been like a day since I played, dude, and it leads us to that specific position. Well, I didn't even get to say either one of those, but we're not a hundred percent sure. We've called it Vega. At least it reacts whenever Eric points points it north. We call it Vega. Uh, that's the, its name. Okay, I think I got it. And that's pretty much all we know. Have you ever seen something similar? Did any of you know that Adam had this thing? Uh, let's go with that. See if anyone knew that Adam had it. I didn't even know these things existed. What's with Pinhead's answer? Just a dash. I think Sir Phipps has something like that attached to his collar. Sir Phipps? Don't say anything. I'm assuming it's her cat. Oh, sorry, Azrael. You wouldn't know. Sir Phipps is my mom's dog. Oh, that sounds like a cat name than a dog name. What a nice name. Hmm, strange name. Don't say anything. Oh. 
We won't be rude. Huh. Is it a just? I named him. Anyway, he used to run away a lot and then disappeared for days. At some point, my mom gave him a collar with a built-in tracking device. I see. Thanks for the explanation. That's where I know this kind of stuff from, too. I mean, I, who doesn't know that? We should note that Adam doesn't have his own Sir Phipps or any kind of pet. So why did he have this receiver in his trunk? I guess that's the big question. And why was it switched on? Might Adam just be looking for the dog? <laughs> what dog, though? I guess that's the big question. We'll go with that one. Where do you think the signal could come could be coming from? Who knows? I think don't say anything. Let's try the I think. From the forest somewhere, Adam is sending it from a very important place. I mean from the forest at a very important place are kind of like the obvious answers. I don't think Adam is sending it. I mean, I guess it's possible he could be. I'm going to go with this one. Well, then, what are we waiting for? You're not seriously suggesting Eric should follow that thing. Sure. This is like the most obvious inv invitation I've ever seen. That's a pretty dumb idea. I actually agree. We had the same thought. Did we have the same thought? Like, is that like me and Eric or me and Pinhead had the same thought? Let's go with that one. I mean, I think it's kind of dangerous because it is dark. I mean, he already tripped over a rock when he was messaging us, so. I mean, we don't want... Eric to fall off a cliff or something. Uh, we don't know what might be waiting for us at the end. Yeah, I've got a bad feeling about it too. And Eric shouldn't go on his own. The signal could be many miles away. On the other hand, it's our best option so far. Um, probably an Eric shouldn't go on his own. Oh, no problem. I'll go with him. can't go with him, Pinhead. <laughs> you can quit arguing. I've already decided. I'm going to give Vega to the police. Huh? I totally forgot the police. Uh, we called them when we found the car. Okay, so we called them when we found the car. We'll go with that one. They should be here any second now. They'll know what to do. <laughs> sure, good luck with that. Azrael. You want the short version or the long version? I'll take the long version, please. I'll take the short version of what? Yeah, let's ask of what? What is, what is he talking about? Of what's going to happen. The long version and the short version should be enough. Let's go with the long version. I like a good story time. A fine choice. I mean, it really is the long version. So in this moment, as we're speaking, Timothy Bucket will be driving towards the green side slightly faster than allowed, switching lanes as he pleases. I 
An insanely long time, and about 17 offenses later, he'll arrive where Eric is. He will then, silent and annoyed, but overall happy with himself, take Eric's statement. And then he will be back on his jolly old way to the station, where he will undoubtedly take a hearty swig from his bottle, whose label might say it's just lemonade, but which actually contains some high-proof, ungodly moonshine. The next day he'll wake up with a headache as always and he will have forgotten most of what he has he was told last night. Does this guy know him personally? <laughs> Maybe it's his dad. And because he can't read whatever he might have written down the night before, we'll be going in for round two, baby. Woohoo. The end. Sounds like you know him well. Thanks, Charlie. That doesn't sound very promising. Sounds like you know him well. Shrugs. Shrug emoji. It wasn't Bucket who answered the phone. I know his voice. Yeah, you want to bet? So what now? And what do you suggest, Charlie? I say we give it a chance. Well, I mean, so what now? Give Vega to me. <laughs> this is getting better and better. No, Charlie, no way. And why not? Because Eric found it. You don't even know how it works. Or you don't even know how to work it. Don't say anything. Um, well, I mean, I don't know if he knows how to work it or not. We'll just say it's because Eric found it. But he doesn't want to use it. I'll be with you in 15 minutes, Eric. I'll probably be there before Bucket. Don't do it, Eric. Sure, Charlie can have it. Uh, the police should have Vega. I don't... I don't know. Uh, I mean, I guess maybe we should just let Charlie try. I mean, kind of out of other options. Let's go with that, sure. I mean, he might as well. You're right, Azrael. Smiley face, rolling eyes, don't say anything. None of this matters anyway. There's a car coming. That's relief. Yeah, I'm relieved too. A police car? You should probably step aside, Eric. If it is, it's coming without emergency lights. But who else could it be? Is the car swerving madly? No. Yeah, you'd say that, wouldn't you? That. Well, why? Why would he just like not admit to it? Okay, I'll be offline for a while. I'll message you when the conversation is over. Okay, you'll do the right thing. Thumbs up. Okay, so Eric is offline. Well? What are we gonna do in the meantime? We'll do uh, what you're worst at, keeping quiet. Okay, so Ash went offline. Okay, I think she might be mad at you. See you later. Don't say anything. I think she might be mad at you. She's never not mad at me. Okay, so let's collect our achievements. So out with the old and with the new. All right, and we are on to our next mini game. 
So I'm going to go ahead and end it there. I hope you guys have been enjoying uh, Moonvale. I feel like this one was a little bit shorter than it normally was. Uh, but, you know, we'll uh, jump back into it. I'll beat the, you know, the four mini games that we have to do there. And we'll continue the rest of the story and see who was on the side of the road. Um, well, not they weren't on the side of the road. They were coming towards Eric. And it, he doesn't believe it was a police officer. So who knows who it could be. Um, but I hope you guys have been enjoying the game. Please uh, leave me a comment down below what you think is going on. You know, if you're enjoying the game. Maybe if you've been playing it. Um, you know, what you've thought about, uh, you know, Moonvale so far. Uh, please leave me a like. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you next time. Bye.